With this short video, I want to showcase live templates of IntelliJ, which are a great um, productivity hack, especially when writing the same boilerplate code for your tests over and over. So when using IntelliJ, you might already have used one of the default live templates. So for example, if you quickly want to write system.out.println, you might have used the S out in the past and then used auto completion to um, bring the system out print line to your code. So IntelliJ ships with a set of default uh, live templates that we can use for our implementation. You can take a look at all the default or available live templates with at least on Mac it's command J and then it pops up here a small context menu where you can take a look at all the short codes for your live template that you can use or that are applicable within this source file. So IntelliJ has different live templates per programming language. So this way you can define or use HTML templates only within HTML files and Java templates um, within Java files. So for example, here this predefined for each that you can use. And the cool thing about these live templates is that we can also write uh, our own live templates and use them throughout also our team to have the same set of conventions, for example. One use case where I'm using these custom live templates quite often is within tests. So here I have opened a sample mock MVC test that tests a Spring Web REST API. And whenever testing such controllers, we find ourselves writing this mock MVC uh, setup here over and over. So it's always a perform step with the URL and the HTTP method and then some expectations. And this involves also some static imports. So while writing this over and over for multiple tests from scratch, it all adds up some seconds that you additionally need to also import the correct classes um, after IntelliJ suggests the possible imports. And to now improve our productivity here when testing our Java applications and uh, writing reoccurring code skeletons, we can use a IntelliJ live template. So here I've prepared a sample mock MVC live template. So I've created a mock MVC post and a mock MVC get. And this will bring me the boilerplate code I need for now performing a post HTTP request against my mock servlet environment. And the only thing left is to enter here the endpoint I want to test. It already comes with an opinionated content type and here a multi-line Java string so that I can now enter the body of my HTTP request and I have the basic setup ready to now continue from here and the nice thing is it also already used the correct imports so I don't have to import anything as I've specified the uh, fully qualified class name for all those methods within the live template. Let's take a look uh, where we can configure these live templates. So within the action search of IntelliJ, we can search for live templates and then pick the entry that goes to the preferences. And within the preferences, you will then be redirected to live templates. It's inside the editor section and then at the bottom live templates. And then you will see all the live templates for the various programming language that are part of IntelliJ. And if we scroll down to Java, it's a little bit hard to see here because I'm in presentation mode, but nevertheless, you will see now all the live templates that are part either by default or added by you to IntelliJ. We should find our system.out.println. This is here. So here you will then see also the template text and with these uh, dollars you enter variables that then have to be filled by the user that uh, uses this live template and also you select here how the, the, the live templates are expanded. So I'm using tab to expand the template and now let's take a look at our mock MVC example. So let's go to the post. So the first thing we have to define when creating a live template is the abbreviation that we use within the source code. We already saw this, this is mock MVC post and then a short description. So we understand what this 
knife template will now do to our source code and then we enter here the template text. So as you see here, I only added one variable, which is the URI. We could also make more of this dynamic to be entered than by the user. So there you can tweak this according to your needs. And when using other Java classes in here, we can specify the fully qualified class name and then it will automatically uh, import these to our test. You can also select here especially important or useful when using mock MVC that it should favor static imports whenever possible. So this is selected and within the added variables overview we can also see all the variables that are part of our template. We can also even go further and uh, modify uh, variables uh, with some expressions. So for example we could capitalize the entered URL or calculate a new variable based on an already entered variable. So there's uh, a lot of stuff possible within IntelliJ. And if you want to create your own live template, just select uh, the language you want to create one for and then click here on the plus and say live template. Then it asks you for the abbreviation. So let's say now mock MVC put some description and then you can enter here the code so I won't do this for now but we will see the full uh, uh, round trip here. The last thing that's missing is we have to apply a context where uh, we can use this abbreviation so it's not enough to put it here below the Java templates we also have to explicitly select Java here or for example could also choose Kotlin if this live template could be also used within Kotlin so let's pick Java here and then click apply save the whole thing and then coming back to our test we will now see here mock MVC put and for now it just enters here a comment but uh, you should now get the gist on how to create your own live template. So as already mentioned I'm heavily using this feature for my tests. One example here is for example I have a live template that prepares a a range act assert structure for my test that I'm about to write. So the only thing left is here to add the test name and then I'm ready to test something or as a different example, a normal JUnit 5 test with ether J. So without the arrange act assert structure here, same in blue. And this way I outsourced a lot of the boilerplate stuff that I'm using over and over. And with these live templates, I'm way more productive as I can focus on implementing the test and don't have to also reach out to Google or Stack Overflow if I forgot uh, the correct structure for the mock MVC request setup. I can just enter the template uh, based on the live template and then adjust it from there.